What's up, everybody? Matt Ogus, Legends of Aesthetics.com. This is Ogus Vlog number 240. This session, I got a workout in with my boy Chris Elkins. I call him the illusion. I uh, sit next to him at the Muscle Mayhem in the short open class. Um, anyways, get into that in a little bit. This is the OHP I did for the day 225 standing stiff um, for sets of three. Uh, probably around 181 pounds in this video, 181 to 182. Uh, here's his set right here. He wanted me to kind of spot him on the first rep as I did there. And going for mad PRs, I'm pretty sure he hit like a PR in every single freaking exercise. Obviously, it's because of my long hair and my presence. Um, 135. What does he have here? 135. Maybe 150. Either 150 or uh, or 155 or 165. Something like that. I'm not too sure. Second set of three OHP, boom, nice and easy. Felt pretty damn good, even though um, since I only overhead press once every other week, uh, it's like the first half of the workout feels almost foreign, but then eventually uh, the OHP, the OHPs start to feel natural. Uh, last set of three right here, boom. I'm really excited to eventually increase the weight. I, I would like to work my way to a five by five. Um, OHP of 225 and then at that point start getting crazy with the weight start increasing it more on a frequent basis uh, but I, I really feel comfortable with 225 and I really want to work my way up in the reps with 225 up to 5 by 5 uh, after I hit that last rep I was like alright I'm going to drop the weight just a little bit I think I took it down 5 or 7 percent something like that and I think this is 210 I have a 2.5 at the end I believe so that's 45, 35, 2.5. Did two more sets of three, and then I was like, you know, that's nice. I did five sets of OHP, uh, 15 total reps, pretty heavy. Feel comfortable with that. I like that. Let's move on. So me and my boy Chris, we moved on to uh, dumbbell rows, and you'll see the difference between how I do them and how he does them. Uh, we both do them off of a rack, it seems, um, and not kind of on a bench. Um, my feet are pretty much uh, facing forward parallel and he likes to do like a sumo style um, of just uh, feet really wide, uh, <laughs> really interesting. After that, close grip bench press, 245, I think sets of 10 here. Uh, I think I was only going for sets of eight, but after this first set, I was like, holy shit, I feel good. So I ended up doing three or four sets of 245 for 10 on the close grip bench press. What it seems like I do is uh, it's almost like I alternate between um, pause or not pause reps, but uh, like dead stops at the top and workouts where I do it continuously like we're doing here. Um, and I think that's a good way that I'm going to start actually doing it all the time. So what I'll do is uh, when I hit a new weight, I'll do continuous reps and then I'll hit the next session of uh, kind of dead stop reps where you know I take like a half a second to pause with a full extension with a full press on that close grip bench press um, and then after I've done that then increase the weight okay so why do I call him the illusion the illusion is that he he uh, he weighs a lot less than it looks like he should um, we, we're pretty similar in size and, and shape and everything uh, but he weighs like 20 pounds less than me and even on stage I think he weighed like less than 140 pounds uh, I'm not too sure and I was I was around 160 pounds on stage and honestly it didn't look like that much of a difference in terms of our, our size uh, it's pretty freaky <laughs> he just he's just got a lot of muscle for how much he weighs it seems cool dude that's my boy I'll leave his link in the description box Post workout meal, no surprise. <laughs> Here with Chris, check out his burrito and then check out mine. That's right, it's about a half an inch longer, a That's little bit thicker. That's not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, got this over here. I'm supposed to go to uh, Sears for like a secret sale going on, because technically Sears is closed, but according to a flyer that they've been handing out for the last few days, there's like a family and friends sale. Girlfriend called me, she's like, she's like, there ain't no sale, they're not even open. I'm like, that's why it's a secret. I'm like, mm. so now I'm on Google right now making sure that it's real. Gotta get a discount, bruh. Okay guys, this is for you, but more especially for me. 
Brianna's going to teach me how to use the dishwasher. Uh, coming from an Asian American household, if you consider Filipinos Asian, uh, use the dishwasher as a storage device. You don't actually use the dishwasher. I know all you guys out there with Asian moms and dads feel me on this. So, show me, babe. What do we okay. do here? First thing you do, load your dishwasher. Oh, and by the way, check this shit out, guys. Uh, these are the glasses that we got. Brown, I picked it out. Uh, Michelangelo edition Italian made in Italy. glass. I guess they're made in Italy, or at least they say it's made in Italy. Uh, really, and then her mom hooked us up with these knives and pew, 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 no, knives. That's yours. Uh, that's your oh, that one's mine. Oh, that was my <laughs> shitty knife. Oh, sorry. They picked out these really, they're really cool knife, fork, and spoon set. And check out the spoons. They look like freaking wonton soup things. Cool. Like this is the large spoon. Is that a t is that a tablespoon and is that a teaspoon? Because it looks like a jagged. We can't even use these for measurement. Strong. Why? Why Strong. would we? You're so accurate. Strong. Why would we? Okay. They're adorable though. Look at them. Okay. Whatever. It's like a little ladle. All right. Teach us how to how to use this dishwasher. Okay. So you load it. One thing a lot of people don't do and they should is put their scrub brushes in the dishwasher. Put that one in there too. Might as well. What? That other piece of sh whatever the. Fr what is this that? This one. Yeah. This. Okay. If we're not going to use it, shove that deep underneath the cabinet. Can we, yeah, can we just, just throw this out? <laughs> no, you can't. It belongs what? to the, land, the landlord. Oh, yeah. This is going in here. <laughs> yeah, just put it deep in there. <laughs> okay. okay. What I was saying is that a lot of people don't do this, and they should, is put their scrub brushes in the top rack. Most of them are dishwasher safe, and you should do it because it sanitizes them, and it kills all the bacteria ooh, and stuff ooh, uh, that builds up. Put in my, put in that for me, please. Over there. What? What? This thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that in. in the top rack? Yeah, whatever. Let me uh, let me down this protein shake too, real quick. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put this with a silverware because it can fall through. Can you put that in for me, please? Can I put this in the silverware? Yeah, yeah. don't ask me. Just do it. Alright, so this sanitizes it by putting it in the dishwasher, which is really good. Okay. You always want to rinse your stuff out before you put it in the dishwasher. That way, so, yeah, get the if big you don't run off. it right away, you don't have like a buildup of any sugary substances. Mm. Okay. 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 Oh <laughs> Bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna move this though. So if, if stuff doesn't fit in the top rack, you can always put it on the bottom rack. Okay. So you get your dishwashing soap and then you just put it in the, see it's labeled main wash. Fill it up. Close. Literally that easy. And then- What's the pre-wash? Just I fill it a up little, too. little more soap for pre wash. That's it. Wow. Ours automatically closes, but some have a latch. Yeah, so you, you close it. And then turn it on. Normal wash. Yeah. And we're going to do air dry because we put your plastic okay. in there. We don't want that to melt. So we turned okay. off heated dry, turned on air dry. That was probably like the easiest thing ever. Yeah, no. Holy crap. Super easy. And that's why people use them. Okay. An hour later, and it's all done. Alright, so the girl from brought her cat over. His name is Mittens. You guys remember him, right? Anyways, he is so afraid right now. Scared. He is so scared to be in this new place. <sighs> and we're going to show him. Wait, wait, you're not keeping that there, are you? No, just for now. Until it gets acclimated. Okay. The other one is in the bathroom. The other one I plan on keeping in the bathroom. Wait, wait, there's one right there and there? Yeah, it's just for right now. Okay. Kitty litter? I am not going to be cool with having that there. You better, are you going to be changing that on a pretty frequent basis? Yeah. Okay. Cause I'm we have to buy a kitty litter scoop tomorrow, I forgot. Strong. I was going to get one from my house, but it, it went the same. I got to show you the other kitty litter. I know. Shh, nothing scary. Calm down. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's new. Look. Some more kitty litter. Put him in there. Put him in there. Some more kitty litter. 
He stuck to my shirt. More kitty litter. See? <laughs> His eyes are so big. Here, take him to other rooms. Take him to the bathroom. See what he thinks about it. Is it a bathroom? Oh my gosh. He's like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> the you can sleep in here. First Monday in my new house. And uh, first thing I'm going to do today is go to Sears, pick up the lawnmower and then start doing some yard work with my boy Nick. I'm planning on mowing the lawn myself for the first time just so I see how it is and use the new equipment that I bought yesterday. Got a weed eater, lawnmower, blower. Then I'm gonna teach Nick how to use it and then uh, probably pay him on a weekly basis to cut my shit. I'm making myself an Ogus shake, but without the bananas because I don't think they're quite ready yet. Still a little bit a little bit of green on there. Uh, I got my like three scoops of whey, um, quite a bit of spinach, about maybe 100, 120 grams of spinach, um, some oats right there, and then this fresh berry mix. So getting quite a blend of micronutrients in this uh, little breakfast shake of mine. Usually with this breakfast shake, if I have one like this, I'll toss in my uh, creatine right here. Otherwise, I'll usually just take uh, 5 grams of creatine to the face and uh, drink it down with just a glass of water. This little breakfast shake hit. This little breakfast shake helps me hit all my uh, foundations, my standards of the day when it comes to my nutrition, such as the micronutrients, the fiber as well. Just the uh, berries alone. I usually use probably what would be two servings, between one and two servings right here. And the fiber in this. It's getting me about close to 10 grams of fiber just in the berries. Then you have the banana and the freaking oats. Uh, a little bit in the spinach and it's a lot of fiber right there. Okay, it's uh, March 24th, 2014 as you can see. Uh, we noticed that there's a leak right here. And then it goes, drips down here. It's from the master bathroom when you take a shower. It leaks through through the ceilings and then goes right down. Boom, there. We lived here about a week. Officially moved in on the 21st. Back at Noodles, guys. This time I got the penne rosa. Fucking delicious. She got a barbecue sandwich. Yum yum. Side of tomato soup. Yum yum. Going downstairs, get some more food. It's about 11 at night right now. Kind of feeling some yogurt, granola bar. Um, and I also got this new Fiber One oats and chocolate chewy bar. Excited to try this out. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put this Danny Greek yogurt, cherry, and strawberry into this bowl. Break up and crumple these right here. Uh, eat this on the side, and then I also have that leftover uh, Froyo from a couple nights ago. I'm gonna finish that up too, or maybe just some of it. There's a lot there. All right, I'm trying out the Fiber One bar now, guys. Not fucking bad at all. Here's footage I already uploaded. It was the uh, squatting for plates for volume PR video. I hit four or five for four sets of five. Welcome back everyone, Matt Ogus, legendsofaesthetics.com. It's March 26th today. I'm really happy. I live seriously one mile from the new gym that I'm going to. It's not the best gym. The dumbbells only go up to 110 pounds or so, but it'll, it'll do for most of my lifts and most of my workouts. So I'm excited about that. That's one good thing. I don't waste a lot of gas or time getting to the gym. And especially for my lower body days, I've noticed this. Let me know if you guys have noticed this uh, when it comes to your workouts, the longer my drive is, um, specifically or most importantly when it comes to my uh, lower body workouts, my deadlift sessions or my, my squat sessions, if I have a really long drive, whether it's 30 minutes up to two hours, the longer it is, the more just shitty it is, the more shitty. 
just from being in that seated position, my back in this position, hamstrings are sleepy, glutes are sleepy. Man, so being real close to the gym like this, it's definitely awesome and I'm very happy about that. Today's an upper body workout. My main goal today is to bench 305 for five reps. After that, I'll drop it down a little bit and do some more sets of five, but 305 bench for five. I think this will be my third time uh, trying to hit five. I think the first time I got like three. No, no, excuse me. The first time I got four. The second time I got four. So I'm, I'm pretty damn confident that I'm gonna hit five on this 305 bench today. I've looked it up, I've asked around, uh, where are all the badass hardcore gyms around here? And I've heard of maybe one or two that are within reasonable driving distance. So within the next few days, I might try out these gyms, see how they are, check out the fees, see if it's worth it. Um, I've heard of a couple, and one of them, I was like, what? Uh, dumbbells only up to 120. So compared to my current gym, that's only 10 pounds of dumbbells more. So I'm really looking for a gym, you know, 150 pound dumbbells if possible, uh, bumper plates, maybe. Not, not necessarily bumper plates, but allowing uh, people to deadlift heavy. Um, just a good squat rack, that's really all I need. And most of all, honestly, I need to be able to, to film, which usually isn't necessarily something that, uh, that's hard. All you have to do is just really get to know people and uh, just be friendly with people. So, okay. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, we're here at the gym. I'll see you guys at the bench press. <laughs> Today was one of those days, guys. My warm up felt perfect. My body was ready. My back felt great. I was hydrated. I slept well. Feeling so damn good. 305, let's hit this bitch. Here we go. And it looks weird as fuck. And I'm moving around and I shouldn't be moving around and it looks weird as fuck again. And I'm wondering what the fuck is so... My fucking foam roller was right there. Apparently I was lowering the weight and the freaking... The, the weights were hitting my fucking foam roller. What a stupid, stupid mistake. I left my foam roller like to the side of the bench without realizing it. And I lowered the weights and it hit the fucking foam roller. <laughs> so that really screwed up my mojo. Uh, just three or four minutes later, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to try this out, and I busted five out super easily. I honestly thought that I, I, I thought it would have made a bigger impact in a negative way on this workout, uh, just totally ruining the flow and uh, hitting my nervous system a little bit as well. But honestly, I, I killed this work. I hit 305 for five easy reps, dropped it down. Uh, to the weight you see here for four sets of five. So I hit a total of five sets today when I came to bench. Uh, didn't film any of the exercises though. Good bench workout though. All right, back and try day. Started off with weighted pull-ups, probably about four sets of six with the 50 pound dumbbell. It actually comes out to weigh about 54 pounds at this particular gym. And then remember what I said about doing kind of like the dead stop close grip bench? basically full extension, a full press, you know, a little split second pause at the top. This is what I meant. So last time I did my three or four sets of 10, now I did three or four sets of 10, but with that complete stop at the top, full lockout on the close grip bench press. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. Next time uh, I'll be increasing the weight, even though this time I increased the weight and I did the freaking full stop. So hey, I guess the goal is to be able to do the full stop, right? So Alberto and Melissa were here at the gym at the same time, so I figured, hey, might as well put Alberto up on uh, the video. You, know, you can see his uh, nice leg <laughs> from this uh, position of the camera. Looks pretty good. Um, you'll notice the way that he deadlifts is much different from the way that I do. Uh, he's really calm and collected when it comes to doing his deadlifts. And pretty much all of his lifts in general just really calm and collected and he just keeps going and going and going and like what what appears to be like a like a final rep it's it's not a final rep for him like it's like he's hitting rve nine after nine after nine after nine uh <laughs> it's interesting you have those people you know with me man like I, I just do not lift like that. It's like once it starts getting hard, there's no more. But with him, it looks like it's just the way he performs the sumo deadlift, I think. You know? 
just super, super uh, controlled. And uh, he just keeps going and going. Here is the uh, seal row, which uh, since Alberto has been doing it and I've been doing it has grown in popularity quite a bit. Everyone and their mom is now doing seal rows. People are making videos about doing seal rows. People are talking shit about seal rows. But hey, we're just lifting weights the way we like to lift them. Uh, looking awesome, huh? Just look at that. This was back March, uh, late March. And uh, you're probably watching this video like mid-April. So even leaner than he is here currently. Uh, just totally looking awesome. He's going to set some serious records for himself in terms of conditioning this year. Uh, it's really exciting and inspiring to uh, just watch him push through this entire prep of his with uh, just calm and uh, just, just, look at those fucking pants though. Damn. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this Ogus vlog. Here is this quick preview of the next vlog. I will see you then. Hey, quit me a little bitch. Ogus cake.